All human actions are motivated at their deepest level by one of two emotions, fear or love. In truth, there are only two emotions, only two words in the language of the soul. Every human thought and every human action is based in either love or fear. This is what I have called the sponsoring thought. It is either a thought of love or fear. This is the thought behind the thought behind the thought. It is the first thought. It is prime force. It is the raw energy that drives the engine of human experience. Every thought, every statement, every feeling is creative. Listen to your feelings. Listen to your highest thoughts. Listen to your experience. God created you in the image and likeness of God. You have created the rest through the power God has given you. God created the process of life and life itself as you know it. You believe that God is the creator and decider of all things in your life. You are mistaken. God is the observer, not the creator. And God stands ready to assist you in living your life, but not in the way you might expect. But in the moment you pledge your highest love, you greet your greatest fear. You will not have that for which you ask, nor can you have anything you want. This is because your very request is a statement of lack, and you're saying you want a thing only works to produce that precise experience, wanting in your reality. The correct prayer is therefore never a prayer of supplication, but a prayer of gratitude. When you thank God in advance for that which you choose to experience in your reality, you in effect acknowledge that it is there in effect. Go first to your highest thought about yourself. Imagine the you that you would be if you lived that thought every day. Imagine what you would think, do and say, and how you would respond to what others do and say. It's your words about it. I'm broke. I haven't a dime. I don't have any money. That dictates how long you stay broke. It's your actions surrounding it, feeling sorry for yourself, sitting around despondent, not trying to find a way out because what, what's the use anyway that creates your long-term reality? Your thought about yourself is that you are not good enough, not wondrous enough, not sinless enough. You've denied for so long who you are that you've forgotten who you are. Yet if you knew who you are, you would never fear. But you do not know who you are. And you think you are a great deal less. Where did you get the idea of how much less than magnificent you are? Do you want your life to take off? Begin at once to imagine it the way you want it to be, and move into that. Check every thought, word, and action that does not fall into harmony with that. Move away from those. When you have a thought that is not in alignment with your higher vision, change to a new thought. I tell you this, all you see in your world is the outcome of your idea about it.